Hey, welcome back everyone. My name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our search for more gems. We are at one right now. It is in the treasury house. If you take a left, go through a locked door. It's at the end of the hall. Stone of Baron Zaya. And now we're at 17. Seven more to go. We'll be back shortly with the next one. Our next gem is in the Dwemer Museum, which is in Markarth. Uh, it's just to the left of where you enter. So we entered right here. You take a left. You go into this locked room. Watch out for the guard. Take the stone. Wait for the guard to patrol past. Or does it even matter? Who knows? We're gonna get out of here regardless. We are pretty stealthy. And that's really all there is to that gem. We'll be back with the next one. Six remain. Okay, I'm at another of the gems. This is actually in the Reeking Cave, which is beneath the Thalmor Embassy. Um, there's a sh uh, one of these gems here, which is interesting. Because it's supposed to be in the Embassy. I actually had to... ...no-clip my way in, because it's locked after you do that one quest. But apparently the gem doesn't stay there if you've locked yourself out of the Embassy. It comes down here into this cave below it, so... Just as a heads up, if you do miss the one in the embassy, you can come down here and grab it. It's in this little cave here. Right in there. And yeah, that was good to know. I didn't know that. And all honesty, you can just go to the Thalmor Embassy, loop around to the back, hop in that cave, and it's just near the end there. I'll be back shortly with the next gem. Okay, so the next gem is here in the Queen's Room, Jarl Elsif the Fair. Don't take this the wrong way, but you look a little sickly. That's all she has to say to me when I'm in her room. Anyways, so we're gonna grab that. I also grabbed a tracking mod for this because it was becoming annoying trying to figure out where all the ones that we had gotten were and which ones we hadn't. I'll be back shortly with the next one. And this was in the blue palace, by the way. You just go up the stairs to the left. Our next gem is going to be in the Archmage quarters of the College of Winterhold. And that'll be our 21st gem. We're getting there. Getting very close to the end of this little quest line. It's taken forever. I don't know why I went that way. We need to go to the Arcanium and then up to the Archmage Quarters. Also, we do have a permanent thrall following us around. Just as a heads up. It's from our Conjuration. We have a... Actually, we shouldn't... Oh yeah, we should have a permanent thrall, but we nuked all of our perks for Conjuration, so it's probably not as good as it should be anymore. I did Master Conjuration and Destruction and then realized... I don't really like magic all that much. It's okay. Um, so I went back to one-handed weapons. For now, anyways. We'll see if we change it up later. Let's go all the way back down, and we'll find the next gem. Alright, we are heading into Enselvund Ansel for the next of the gems. We're also going to go stealth mode. Because we're also very good at sneaking. Where are we going in this place to find this gem? It's down there somewhere. There could be spiders. Oh, right, I didn't put my bow back on. Where is that? I hope I didn't get rid of my bow. I might have... No, it's there. Gotta change my things back to what they were. Where's my... Sh Oh, my shield's not even on my favorite bar anymore. Oops, I dropped it, didn't I? I sure did. There we go. And two. Alright. We're not great at archery still, but we're pretty good at uh, stealthing, so it's fine. Why are there so many spider eggs here? I really don't like this. I don't think this is the right way either. That could be the way out. I hear Draugr. There's a Draugr. We do have a... Um, Atronach still, but like I said, we took our perks out of 
Conjuration, so it's probably not as powerful as it should be. Also, it's only a Flame Atronach, so... They're sort of not the best. They look cool, though. That light just turned on and off. Are they practicing weapons? Hello! We're pretty good at one-handed skills, or er, swords by the way. I did enchant a bunch of our stuff with some extra one-handed skill and damage and stuff like that. Did you just... That being said, magic is still the bane of our existence. Oh, come on. Just stay dead. We should almost invest in a dagger for that 15 times sneak attack damage. I don't have one though. On me anyways. Apparently there's some enemies coming. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed. And uh, now I'm getting... Oh. I just put her down. Damn. Oh, there's a lot of dudes coming. It's Ow. Oh, there you are. It's like, where's the novice gone? What here? Oh, there's a black skull gem. We could use that for enchanting. Guess that's pretty much it for these guys. I am Lua Alskaven. Who are you to disrupt my work? Be gone, or I will add you to my army of the dead. Okay. Well. My name's Eltamar. I have killed just tons of things. Like, a staggering amount of things at this point. Rise from your graves to defeat this worm. So I'm not too concerned about a couple of Draugr. And also we did some pretty decent enchantments on our gear. How do I get out of here? I go that way. Which is... This way? Yeah. Alright, we're going this way. A couple more. I'm glad we weren't standing there. That might have killed us. Yes. Yes, it would have. Uh, well, there's a Draugr down there, and that's kind of where we need to go. Hello, Draugr. Dead Deathlord, and we continue on our way. We're only really here for quests at this point. We have lots of gear, lots of money. There was a trap. Oh, we went too close. I tried a power attack, and it didn't. Goes well as planned. I'll have none of your shenanigans. Stupid. Oh, there's a journal there. We should probably grab that. I'll read it in a little bit. Hello, Atronach. I'm afraid you aren't really that much of a threat at this point. Now, we do have a puzzle. Where is the key? For this. It might be the journal we picked up, but usually they just have them lying around. Now let's check the journal. Maybe it has something to say about this. 25 years I have grieved for my husband and sought revenge against the Empire for his death. I have researched the magics to return his spirit to a body and something about the story of Fiori and Holgir has drawn me here. Holgir would make the perfect vessel to bring my sail back to life. I managed to raise the dead here and can use them as laborers to clear the way to the main burial hall. Something about the methods used by the ancient Nords has kept them incredibly well preserved. Would that these storm cloaks had half the sense. We could have used them to push the elves right off the continent and formed a new state to combat the Empire. 
And now, when I'm so close, a war breaks out. A sleeping bear of Skyrim who would not come to aid us in Hammerfell awakens now that the Empire has abandoned them as well. They think they know suffering at the hands of the Empire, they know nothing. I would see both the Empire and the Sons of Skyrim into oblivion myself. So that doesn't help us with this thing. That is clearly not the answer to the puzzle. Let's go find ourselves a key. So we have three, four of them. Um... Usually they're not too far away, so... Ooh, a soul gem. We're going too far. Like, usually they're in sort of the same room. Or very close to the same room. For ease of reference. They don't like to make things too hard in Skyrim. I may just have to glance around until I find it. You know what? I'm gonna go look around. I'll be right back and I'll show you guys where I find the key for this. Two seconds and I'll be right back. Okay, so I figured out how to do the puzzle. I was looking around forever and now I found what I think it's going to be. As the eagle finds its mates, so too did Fiori find hers in Holgear. And a time of peace came to the clans of the forest. And then, so it's obviously eagle's the first one, but the snake came and bit Holgear. Its venom seeping deep into the wound, so snake is the second one. A whale greeted Fiori's view, and she came over the mountain, or came over the snow-covered mountains to the coast. So whale is the third. And then, but the snake bit Fiori as she poured the last drop into Holgear's mouth, and she fatigued from her journey, so snake. Eagle, snake, whale, snake. Oops, I didn't mean to fall. Was that correct? Damn it. Eagle, snake, whale, snake. Alright, let's try that. That should be it. And that is it. On our way. This opens to Enzelvund burial chambers. This is going to be interesting, for sure. We can ignore those traps, but one of our teammates is probably going to set them off. There's a big treasure chest here. Uh, that way. There we go. Alright, let's grab some- oh. Of course there'd be a second lock. There we go. And... Glass swords look really cool, but they're not nearly as good as the one we're using, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, our war axe is 237 damage. Oh, there's some Draugr standing in fire areas. I'm gonna go ahead and steal this book. It's a worthwhile book. I've taken the key. Which probably means more enemies, in all honesty. I shall have vengeance for the death of my husband. Rise! How did you come back to life? I killed you. Alright, we're almost there, I think. It's been a long journey already. But it's only the last three, so we might as well just lay it out. Come on. And also, it gives us a good- oh, shit. That really bounced there for some reason. I'm having some serious trouble with the adept one. There we go. And... oh, there's a magic potion. We must have grabbed that. Well, at least we have the key for that. Ooh, a flawless sapphire.
Ah, everything's flying around at me. I'm sorry, ghosts. Hello, Draugr. How did I miss? I was like point blank with him. Okay. Mm, I wish to check his corpse. We also have pretty decent magic and fire resistance. I did. You know what? I'll show you my enchanted gear. It'll make it easier to sort of figure out what we have. Extra health, extra stamina, which is sort of just generic. It's not very important. One handed attacks do 44% more damage, increase fire resistance 44 and sneaking, and then 22 magic resistance and 68 health. 44% um, one handed damage, and frost resistance, and then shock resistance. So we have quite a bit of magic and shock resistance now to keep us alive, plus some extra health. We're doing pretty good. The gem is here somewhere. I can see it in the distance. Hello, Death Lord. How do you have so many necromancer friends? Everything is shaking. That's not for a good sign. Could not raise him, but I will raise an army to avenge his defilement. So, wife went insane, and now she's trying to kill everyone because her husband died. Sounds legit. Ow! I shouldn't have done that. I don't know why I did that. Hello, Draugr. Got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, this is looking grim. All right, here we go. They burned his body before I could raise him. It should have been returned to me. I can't let you live. You are insane, and I'm going to take your loot. Oh, Holger died. So did Fury. Both of them had Thank ebony gear. Us from her spell. Now we can rest in peace once again. Come, Fury, my love. I, I take this with our gratitude. Take what? Oh, a ghost blade. Doesn't do very much damage, but it looks cool, so I'll take it anyways. What does a ghost blade do? Does it have a special ability that I don't know of? Does three points of extra damage, ignoring armor. Not a whole three. Wow. I don't know if that sarcasm came through well enough. <laughs> three damage is a pretty impotent amount of damage at this point of the game. Uh, so we are leaving. I'm going to jump to the next area where the next gem is, and then we'll go from there. See you guys in a couple minutes. Okay, our next gem lies within Stony Creek Cave, which is actually just north of Enceland. It's sort of near Craig's Lane Cavern, but... We're gonna head inside and see what there is to find, and then we just have one more gem after that. I do highly recommend you put this mod on, though. This is such a disastrous mess trying to figure this thing out. I don't think I've been here before, ever. Even in... Oh, he missed. He turned the corner just in the nick of time. What a jerk, saving his own life. Inadvertently. What was that? Hi. No I missed. Now it's right around here somewhere. Off to this side. Now ain't this a surprise? It is a little bit of a surprise. I was trying to figure out where to go. Do, 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 do. Hi! I'll be taking that stone of Baron Zaya now. And whatever's in the chest. Which is not really. Oh, Daedric. You know what? Daedric armor looks really cool. Maybe I'll make a set of Daedric armor just because it looks so awesome. 
at some point. It's a little less good than dragon armor. Dragon bone armor. Or dragon plate armor? I think we have dragon plate armor on. But it's it's quite a bit worse than that. But it looks amazingly cool. And I'll show you guys. We'll make a set before the end of the game at some point. But that's the end of this cave. So in the next video, we're going to go to the last gym. Wherever it is. Back shortly. In case someone's wondering how to level up blocking. This is literally going to be what you're going to be doing for hours. And this is what I'm going to do for hours. Because I want to level up my blocking. So this is sort of a mid-video thing. This is literally what we're going to be doing. And this is how I've leveled up all my abilities. In case anyone's wondering how I got so high such high abilities. I literally stand here and take beatings or hunt down creatures to destroy with low-level spells over and over and over again. Until finally we get enough skill to level up. And then when we level up, we go buy training, because that's the best way to level up abilities you don't want to sit here and do this for. But I'll be back in a minute, we'll finish up the gem quest. But this is sort of how I've been leveling up all my abilities, and it's painful and annoying. We have arrived at Pine Watch, the place of the last gem. I uh, didn't get to maximum block, because I just couldn't be bothered, in all honesty. I just didn't care enough to do it. I kind of just want to move on with the game at this point, and blocking a hundred is not going to be anything important. That being said, there is a couple good blocking feats or perks that I would like, but you know what? It's not that big of a deal. We'll be fine for the end of the game at this point anyways. Oh. What did we get level up for? We get oh we have three perks. What should I spend them on? Maybe I should have let myself get hit. So shield wall's pretty good. This is the only reason I wanted to get blocking up to I should have got up to 50, damn. Uh for fire frost and shock damage reduction. It's super useful against wizards. Maybe we should start putting points into archery. Why not? What's the lie? Yes. Don't care about that. percent faster paralyzed all right we're gonna need more skill for that drawing faster thing but could stagger opponents I guess or just do more damage it's usually our first attack type thing anyways before we go in with our weapon I bet it I'm really just here for the gem which is somewhere here It's in this area, but I don't know where. There's got to be a lever or something. A boon. There we go. That's the correct path. A lot of dead people in here. What was that? What was Over that? here! Dude hit me with a war axe. What a jerk. We're on a very focused adventure. We're here specifically for the gem. And I think I might have gotten lost. We have to go that way. Or, maybe we should have stayed up there. Maybe it's this way. Hmm. Hello, anybody in here? Is someone Can't there? Can't hide from you won't be here alive! <laughs> How is he still talking without a head on?
He's clearly a witch, and I'm glad we beheaded him. Damn it. Kinda hoping to jump across to the chest. Oh. Lockpick is the only one you can't easily grind out. And speech, I guess. Because you have to, you have to actually find things to lockpick. Someone there? Where did you come from? Pine Watch Bandits Sanctuary. Guessing this is where the gem is going to be. Probably also some sort of boss or mini boss, and I might just crash my game. Nope, that's fine. I tried to tell him that he wouldn't get past the traps. <laughs> 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 I wish I had a cooler looking weapon. Like, don't get me wrong, the Dragon Bone Axe is cool. But it's not super cool. How do I go further? Oh, there's a... I guess we could have gone up the other way. There's a path. Hello! Also, our pocket skill sucks. But I could not care less about that at the moment. I really just want this gem. This is the last one we need for the quest. And then we can get the crown? I think we have to get the crown. Man, stupid expert locks, damn it. There we go. The door bounced off of us. And there's the last gem. Now we have to return to Vex with all the gems. Also steal whatever this is and take a hit in the face from what I'm assuming are spears. Yep. Lydia, I swear to God. Thank you. I mean, in all fairness, the bandits did clear out the Draugr, so... I did a pretty decent job about that. Where did those two come from, I wonder? Alright, time to leave. Unless there's like a master chest, in which case we'll grab that, but... What the letters say? It's a warning. It says, You've all been warned about trying to break into my treasure room, but Roris didn't think I was serious. Now he's dead. You've all had your cut of the take already, and if I catch any of you dung lickers trying to break in again, I won't let the traps kill you. I'll do it myself. Treasure room, you say? Hi, Rigel. <laughs> You should not have gone out of bed. Let me just put you back to bed. Eh, yeah, treasure room key. That'll help. <clears throat> Why wouldn't you have a key to your own chest on your body? Whatever. Fine, I'll take it. If I were a treasure room, where would I be? Right there. This is quite the treasure room area. I've got a bad feeling about this. Eh. You'll be fine. There are, however, a lot of traps. I mean, there's a couple of gold bars, some ebony ore, which is fine. Curious silver mold, I'll take that. I don't need the gold, and I certainly don't need the candlestick, and I don't need that helmet. Or any of that ore or anything like that. Chest might have something useful in it, but then it might also not. I mean, those robes are actually kind of very worthwhile in terms of money to wait. So we'll take that. And that's actually not too bad, too. I'm not going to take all of the plus one golds. I will, however, take that amethyst. 
Excuse me. Oh. All right. So we are going to go. Well, actually, we're just going on the video. We're going back to Vex right now. We're going to turn in the quest, see where she's going to send us to get the crown. Oh, and then we're on our way. How do we get out of here? This way. We go back up through the uh, door to the house. We do need some more money. Where am I going? I was like, there's a wall there. How did I get in? But then there's, you know, also stairs. Okay, off to Vex. And she is in Riften. I wish there was a quick travel to... There is a quick travel. Yeah, whatever. Go to Riften, jump down, go into the sewers. I thought there was a back way into the Thieves' Guild, and I'm pretty sure there is, but I think you might have to go a little bit further on the Thieves' Guild quest line first, which is... That's okay. Not a big deal, either way, but... Kinda wish we had that easy-going way in already. I'm just gonna move my microphone a tiny bit, sorry if there's a tiny bit of sound there. Okay. There we go. That's more in the position I wanted to be in. And then we're going to get the crown, and then we'll be done this whole quest line, and we'll continue on with some of the other ones. We're going to maybe finish the Thieves Guild. We need to do the Dawn Guard, with the whole Dawn Guard DLC, actually. We haven't even started that yet. Why is my microphone being so weird? Maybe my stand is getting old and the springs are getting kind of shot. It keeps, like, drooping just a little bit over time. It'll be sort of at mouth-ish level, like it's supposed to be, and then it'll just slowly descend over the course of 10 minutes or so. Did we just walk through a door? That was weird. Okay. I was like, it's clipping off for some reason? But no, we definitely clip into things. All eyes Need a few spare you. septums? Don't I got the cure points. right here. I found all the stones of Baron Zaya. Unbelievable. You must be the first person to set eyes on all 24 of them and... Well, the last two eras. Is it worth something now? When I told you the set had to be complete, I left out a small detail. I honestly didn't think you'd ever get this far. If the stones were remounted on the crown, it would be of great benefit to the Thieves' Guild. You mean wealth? Not exactly. The crown is what the guild calls a paragon, an object that enhances our thieving abilities. At least that's what I'm told it does. There hasn't been a paragon in this guild for hundreds of years. Does the crown still exist? I have it on good authority that the crown is within Tolvald's cave, dropped by a Dunmer caravan leaving Morrowind long ago. If you could bring it back, we could restore the paragon and reap its benefits. You planned this from the beginning. If we want to stay on top in Skyrim, the guild needs that paragon back. Without it, we're just a bunch of petty thieves. Well, okay, I guess I'm on my Don't way to go do now. that. There's plenty of loot out there, just right for the taking. Why is it sending me this way? Is there a way out over here? I think there is. Also, we're level 66. Did I level up? I think I did. Uh, we're also not going to do the whole legendary thing where you knock a skill back down and re-level it. Hey, let's talk I honestly cannot be bothered to do that. It takes yes. so much time and effort. Oh, we do get the back way in. Or back way out. Or in. There we go. Now we can get straight to the Thieves' Guild. Which is here. So, that'll help us out in the future. We've been to Tovald's cave. I don't think we finished it, though. I think we needed to get the quest first, maybe? Or we just never bothered to go inside. Hey, look, a cave. One of the two. Wonder what's inside. Regardless, we're going in now to finish off this little quest line. And then... What are we going to do next, I wonder? Probably just Thieves' Guild stuff. Try and get all that Thieves' Guild stuff done. And... Hi, Frost Troll. Not particularly hard anymore.
We're just cruising through this at this point. Kinda like it. Ah, it's a Dwemer place. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Wait, did we go the wrong way? We might have gone the wrong way. Well, apparently there's more to this place than meets the eye, so... Ow. It's a Felmer ambush. Huh. That double hit though. We double tapped him. So we got the treasure. We found some Felmer. Which leads us down this tunnel to... Charons probably? Or Charons or whatever they're called. Oh, hello. I'm going to put you down. I need to kill that guy. Uh, no magic for you. The Falmer is such a creepy race. They were elves once, you know. And it's sort of uncertain whether or not the Dwayne were the ones that blinded them, or if they were became blind from being in the dark. But, uh... They were elves that were enslaved by the Dwemer to be workers, basically. And over time, whether they were blinded purposely or they just became blind in the dark, they are now blind elves. They hear through sound, or they, listen, they see through sound. Of course they hear through sound. That's probably the stupidest thing I've ever said. No. This is stupid work for sure. That one's dead. Where did that one come from? Ow, that hurts. I will say magic still hurts us even though we are more resistant to it now than we ever were. Tovald's gap. I'm kind of letting them hit me a little bit because I want to get my heavy armor skill up. It's my one skill that I haven't mastered yet that I really do want to master. Sorry, Lydia. You shouldn't have been standing there. That's called victim blaming. Oh, fuck me, spiders. Give me all of the Falmer in the world and just leave the spiders out of it. I think I shot him in the knee. Ah, Jesus. Lydia, kill them all. It's your job. I'm not going close to them. I have to check. I don't want to ruin some adventurer's life. Oh, I totally did shoot him in the knee. That was a beautiful shot. Also, why is his knee at a weird... 45 degree angle the wrong way? Skeevers, not important. It's a lot of spider webbing. Jesus! <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. Ah! Oh. I was not anticipating that. I should check my corners. You know what? That was my own fault. Not checking corners. That's like FPS rule 101. There's a flyy one there somewhere. I can't quite see it. There's also another Reaper.
Apparently we are very visible right now. How do we get up there? Alright, Lydia's going in. I might as well go in too. Alright, the uh, Charis or Karis are dead. Seems like we're doing more damage than we used to. Well, I know we're doing more damage than we used to, but we've also gained some levels, so it should have sort of evened out a little bit. Hmm. <laughs> then again, normal Thelmer are not a threat to us in any form at all. We go that way. To Tobold's Crossing. So we're going outside though. Or not. It's definitely not that. Although it is a very cool looking place that I can't really see anything. Oh my There's a warmonger in here that actually hit really hard. For somebody against a person with my amount of health and armor at this point of the game. Are you a ghost? Piss off, ghost. We're going this way. Why are you pointing the other direction? I'm going this way. That is the thing that is happening right now. Oh dear. They're very angry ghosts. Um... Well, we got the crown. How do we get out of here easily? Well, if we look at our map, it's telling us to go back out the way we came, but I'm willing to bet that there's an easier path if we continue through. There usually is. If there's not, then at least we get to explore. That tripping of the wire did not help us even the slightest. We're not even really concerned at the moment about enemies. Is that it? There's oh there's a cave. How do we Oh it's right there. Alright, we're going down this gated area into this gated community. Where there are skeevers, apparently. And a lovely room, also infested by Falmer junk. Oh, some shooting lightning at me. That is the more threatening thing. We don't need its loot. It's a Falmer. What could it possibly have that we want? Other than maybe gems. Doesn't even have good soul gems. Common soul gem. Ugh. Not even a grand soul gem. Or a black soul gem. This is a big room, like a worryingly big room. Yeah. Oh, okay, it's just a car hunter. There is a couple Thalmor at the end, including a hunter. Hi. You don't hit as much as I thought you would.
That warmonger actually hurts quite a lot, though. Oh, the poison. The poison's what's killing us. Our heavy armor went up. That's excellent. That's what we were hoping for. Our restoration magic needs some serious work. It is the one magic I haven't focused on. I even leveled up alteration before it. Stop poisoning me. I don't like it. Anything good here? No. Why would you ever sit on a stone chair also on stones? You could just sit on the stones at that point. I'm willing to bet that the chair is not that much more comfortable. That makes sense. Rocks can be comfortable depending on the rock and how it's shaped. I have no idea where we are, where we are anymore. Does this lead out? It does lead out to Tolvald's Cave. I'm guessing this will lead above the entrance, hopefully. Somewhere like that. And then we can leave. Turn in the crown. Call it a day. This will be a slightly longer video just because of all the time we've spent. I'm trapped. Oh, this is Oh, it's clearly too early in the morning. I think that's the way out right there. Back to the Thieves Guild, press the button, go down, talk to Vex, give her the crown, get our just reward for this amazing journey we've been on. And we are going to Riften's Thieves Guild. And we're going to keep doing some quests. I think we still have some more fun quests to do. I'm also going to look up the optional bosses. There are some really cool ones I'd like to fight. That are apparently quite hard. And then at some point we're going to go fight the end game event. And we'll call it done at that point. Because we're, we're at 90 videos or something now. Or 91 videos or 92. It's a lot of videos. It's Coming. getting to get to the point where we should probably wrap up the series within the next... 20 or so videos, which is like 10 hours of gameplay. Give or take. Vex, why are you Ready asleep? Ready for some work, or are you just gonna wander around all day? Here's the crown. I knew you had it in you. After all, finding the stones was no easy feat. Well, I'm not one to welch on a deal. So here's your reward. Hope you put it to good use. I know I have. Brawler's profit. Walking away without taking a... It's like passing a bloated coin purse on a table. And I think it's in the cistern, I want to say. We can see the crown itself. Oh. I think it's around somewhere in here. I'm not exactly sure 100% where it is in here. There it is, right there. You can clearly see it. Don't you have better things to do than disturb me? That's what the crown looks like. It also looks going to be horribly uncomfortable. Anyways, that's going to be the end of this video. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time. Take care.